Hey guys, Josh Krups here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to map a print for an exhibition or for a gallery. And this is a conservator-friendly archival way of matting a print that is totally reversible. It's not going to rely on any kind of mounting, uh, which in theory can be reversible, but it's a lot more difficult. Um, and so we're going to be doing something called the hinge method which is, like I said, it's the conservator's preferred method because of its uh, archival qualities and the fact that it's reversible. So, first thing I've done is I've just prepared a nice clean work surface. I've got a 32 by 40 piece of mat board down on the table to give me a nice clean working surface. I've got a couple of uh, shims made of mat board and uh, here's my actual mat, which is um, it's an 18 by 24 mat designed to fit a 13 by 19 inch print. I'm going to go ahead and put that over here for now. Here's my print. It's, uh, it's one of my recent shots from uh, the southwest from Horseshoe Bend in near Page, Arizona. Like I said, that's a 13 by 19 inch print. And then it's all going to be attached to a piece of acid-free foam core. So uh, before I even get to the matting, I'm going to sort of prepare my print. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sign the back. And this is sort of a, uh, an authenticity kind of thing. Um, this way, in case anybody ever removes your print from your mat, you will always have sort of the authenticity of the print to be verifiable. And uh, so what I do is first I put the, uh, the name of the print. And then after you write the name of the print, I go ahead and uh, put copyright symbol and then the year the photo was taken, and then uh, my name. And then if it's a limited edition, like this one is, I always put the number in the series, and this is a brand new print, so in this case it's just one, and I make uh, 300 in my limited editions. And then I go ahead and sign my name. And all of this is done on the back of the actual print surface, so there's no way to remove this without actually damaging the print. Go ahead and flip that back over and we can go ahead and get started with our matting. So, um, first step is I've got my mat here and I just line it up so it's edge to edge with the foam core. And then I take uh, an acid free tape called Filmoplast um, and this is an archival tape. You don't necessarily have to use an archival acid free tape for hinging the mat because it, um, it doesn't, the hinge, this hinge doesn't touch the artwork. But since this is what I have on hand, I'm going to go ahead and use it. And basically, you want to go ahead and run that hinge all the way across the back of the mat. Alright, and that makes a nice hinge, and I'll just lift that mat and flop back down over onto the foam core. And now, um, I always make sure that the mat is sort of within the edges of the foam core. And that's because once you frame it, if your mat is sticking out from the edges of your foam core, you run the risk of having it be dislodged if you try to have to jam it uh, down into the frame. So in order to make sure that doesn't happen, I just, make, I just align everything now so that it's well within the boundaries of the foam core and then once that's good I go ahead and just press down here on the top and that sets that crease in the hinge and uh, as you can see it just hinges up nice and easily now. So now we've got our mat hinged. Uh, the next step is we want to go ahead and just align the image within the mat window. So just lift the mat up a little bit and uh, slide the print into place. Lay the mat back down and just see how it looks, and that actually looks just fine. Oh, it's coming out of the bottom a little bit, so I'm going to pull it down. Okay, and make sure it's not gapping anywhere and it looks just fine. So I think I'm going to leave the print where it is right there. Um, so then what I do is I take a soft weight, and this is just a wrist rest from my computer, and I lay that down on the bottom of the print 
and that holds the print in place through the next couple of steps. Let's go ahead and just move that mat back out of the way. Uh, and now we're going to be actually attaching the print to the foam core. Like I said earlier, we're not going to be mounting it. We're going to be using what's called the hinge method, which is uh, preferred by conservators because it is um, archival and reversible in theory. So again, I'm going to go ahead and use that archival filmoplast tape. And the first step is I just tear off a small piece, about an inch or so long, and um, lift up the print here. And then I just lay adhesive side up, attach that tape to the back of the print. And I, I sort of ideally what would happen is if you, you would have a border all the way around your print that you would attach the, uh, the tape to so that there's no adhesive under the back of the actual print itself. But since my prints go almost all the way to the edge of the paper and that's just more to fit the matte window, uh, I don't really have that buffer space. And so um, the, the tape go ahead is on the back of the, the print surface, but there's no uh, adhesive on the print itself, so it's not that big of a deal. Again, it's an archival acid-free tape, so you don't have to worry about it ruining your print. And now we're going to be uh, making what's called a T-hinge. So we've got that uh, first strip of tape laying adhesive face up. We take another little strip and put this one adhesive down, just right on the back of that first piece and go ahead and just kind of burnish that in so that it's nice and stuck. So that's going ahead and attaching the, the print to the foam cord by kind of an indirect way. There's no direct uh, adhesive to print surface um, contact happening here. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and make another hinge now, another T-hinge on the other side. And this one's a little bit different. Um, and this one's going to be a little bit longer. And the reason for that is that it'll allow the print to kind of sway or uh, expand and contract as, as the print absorbs moisture, as the humidity changes, as the temperature changes. And so you need to have a little bit of kind of leeway with this second hinge, otherwise the print might wrinkle up or, or bubble. So go ahead and uh, make that one a bit longer and put this second piece of tape higher up, just like that. And burnish that one in. All right, now if I go ahead and pull my mat back over, everything should still align just perfectly. And yes, it does, everything's in good shape. So uh, we're almost there. That's actually all there is to attaching the print. Um, go ahead and get rid of that weight now. Uh, now the the there's two more steps to my process. Um, we could be done as is right now, uh, and this is, like I said, it's totally reversible. This, this tape, you just have to get it a little bit wet and the adhesive comes off. Um, and so we could be done right now, but I like to go two more steps. And uh, one is I take an acid-free scrapbooker's glue, and I just put a little dollop in all the corners of the foam core. And that just holds the mat board down because the mat isn't 100% perfectly flat. And so, um, just for presentation's sake, even though it's kind of a moot point once you get it into a frame, I, I do ahead, I go ahead and put that glue on there just to hold the corners down. And that actually serves another purpose. Uh, it keeps the mat from sliding around uh, at all. That tape hinge isn't particularly strong. So when I'm transporting this stuff to art shows and things like that, I don't want my mat sliding around because I have it all aligned perfectly on my print. So that's what the glue does. It helps just keep the mat in place. Now there's one final step for, for my prints, and uh, this is just a personal touch. All artists kind of figure out their own way to do it. But I always sign the mat board in the lower right-hand corner, just like I did on the back. Um, so I just put my signature and then the, uh, the addition in the print, in this case it's one out of 300, so the very first print. And let me just touch that up. Bonk. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and get this under weights now, and I just put a piece of clean foam board over the top, and lay some coffee table books down on the top, and, uh, and that'll hold it in place until that glue sets, and then it'll be ready to be bagged up and taken to a show and sold. 
So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful, and I'll see you next time.